Hello there, Mr. Whispers behind the screen. Another Doctor Who new series steelbook to add to the collection. Um, coming quite recently, actually, after the uh, after the last one, Series 6. And, in fact, they've just announced the next one, the 50th anniversary uh, collection re-release in steelbook form. Um, so they're really pumping these out now, and I'm glad, because they're great. Um, this one, the artwork is done again by Sophie Cowdery, and it looks to me like she's done a wonderful job. Come for kind of a bluey, kind of purple colour scheme, where both... Uh, halves of the series are represented on uh, on the back and the front, which is good. Um, and yeah, so let's get this open. I've already made a tear, obviously, as always. You know, if you see my steelbook videos and unboxing videos, I always make a tear before I start. And yeah, there we go. That is probably one of my favourites so far. Actually, it, this looks really nice. Um, standard thing. Uh, you sort of it's what you've come to expect from these steelbooks now. The J card, obviously series seven was this was one of the two split series, um, and probably more so than series six. This one, this series um, feels like two different series put into one. Whereas series six felt like two halves of the same. This one definitely feels uh, different between the two. Um, so taking the J card off, yeah. So we've got series seven part one kind of represented here on the front which is really nice I really like the kind of blue purpley colour scheme there and as we move over to the back we've got series 7 part 2 so yeah really sort of stamping the mark on it being two very different series two very different halves and you can see that on the uh, on the on the spine there as well so cracking it open the discs are of course stacked again as is the norm now with these because there's more discs than normal and it actually looks like to me that they've been reauthored because they've got new labels on it with the new bbfc logos which is interesting i'm gonna have to see if they are the same discs as before as the, from the old release just with new labels on or if they have got some new stuff on it maybe the the speed is different huh that's interesting i i assume they'd just be a re-release huh that's interesting. Um, I'll take these out and show you the inside artwork now. So yeah, continuing the theme of using the publicity shots for the series, this one does it slightly differently in, the, in that we've got parts part one publicity shot here and part two publicity shot here, which is nice. I remember they when they released uh, series seven parts one and two on DVD, they had the the these were the the cover arts for them. So that's nice to have that there. Um, and in terms of the leaflets that come with it, you obviously get your standard episode guide with the original release cover art there. Um, and yeah, it, it's a bog standard episode guide. And a really, and a leaflet for Time Fracture. Um, really leaning into this Time Lord Victorious stuff, which I'm still really eh about. But that's a topic for another video. I actually do have the old release here with me. And as you can see, they do appear to be the same, um, apart from those logos down there. It's interesting, actually. They they appear to have the same episodes on the discs. Um, they're, they're st it's still a five-disc set with all the episodes on. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to pop this in. I'm interested to see what's if there is anything new on these discs, or if there's anything different about them compared to the original release. But it is interesting that they've, that they've um, redone the labels there. Considering that other sort of re-releases of things have just not bothered to do that and included the old BBFC logos, it's um, I don't know. That's interesting. I have to have a look at that for sure. So there we have it. Uh, series seven, another brilliant seal book to add to the collection. Looking really, really nice. You know how I love this range at this point. It's a great, great range. Um, this series, you know, it's probably it's when the show started to go downhill for me. Um, it's definitely one of my least favourite series, but you know, I was going to buy it anyway because I buy all these steel books, you know. And there's some gems in there. Um, I, I, I do quite like The Power of Three. Dinosaurs on a Spaceship is fun. Um, Battles of St. John's good. Rings of Akaten is good. Um, yeah, the Crimson Horror is great. There's, there's some gems in there for sure. But, um, yeah, overall quite a weak series, but definitely not a weak steel book. This is fantastic. Definitely recommend picking this up. And, uh, yeah, will you be picking this up? Um, if you will, uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you on my next one. Take care now.